Well, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD, has released its latest report and forecasts lower growth for the world's most advanced economies. The report says that the euro area crisis is still the most important risk for the global economy and that further policy action is needed. Earlier, I spoke to Pierre Carlo Padoan, the OECD's chief economist, and I asked him about the ECB's latest decision to buy bonds from troubled countries. Uh, it is the right measure to uh, resolve the crisis in the euro area. However, I'd like to stress that it is only one measure. Others are needed, uh, meaning that we need to uh, have a process towards a full-fledged banking union, and countries will need to step up and continue with their adjustment process in fiscal and structural areas. So what specific actions do you recommend be taken? Well, we recommend that weak countries, which are in negative growth, and current account deficits continue to improve their competitiveness, uh, which means increasing productivity and having wage restraints, while surplus countries also contribute by accepting somewhat higher inflation and also improve their investment opportunities, for instance, in Germany. This would help both the German economy and rebalancing in the euro area. Now, Mario Draghi said that he would do whatever it takes to save the euro. Do you think that ultimately the euro can be saved? I am much more optimistic today than I was months ago. Uh, if we look back and we, s and we can see the progress that has been made in strengthening monetary union, this is impressive, although we're still in the middle of the process and more needs to be done. Now, OECD chief uh, Guria said yesterday, Wednesday, that Spain deserves European Union support and has the right to ask for a bailout to unlock required finances. The ECB said it would only help governments that had applied formally to the Eurozone's bailout funds and agreed to their conditions. What kind of action do you expect Spain will get and what kind of action do you think Spain deserves to get? Well, a country like Spain is already undergoing a very important adjustment program in structural, fiscal and banking. Uh, maybe something more must be added to formalize with the new instruments in place that are being announced by the ECB to formalize the relationship. But the, the, the essence of the problem is that Spain is adjusting and Europe is supporting Spain's adjustment. Now, Europe supporting Spain's adjustment, you seem quite satisfied with what um, the ECB did today. Do you think that the euro debt crisis can be contained? You're more optimistic following the announcement today? As I said, this is an important step forward, but more needs to be done. Countries in the euro area, many of them, are still in deep recession. Unemployment is on the rise, so we cannot say we're out of the woods yet. I'm just saying that we are avoiding the possibility of a euro breakup. This is extremely important. Avoiding or kicking the can further down the road? No, I think it's more than ticking the can down the road because this happens within a more structured framework. As I said, more needs to be done, including steps towards a banking union, which hopefully will begin to be addressed next week.